back to my channel. Today we are talking with my husband about being married young and all the things that went into that. But before we get started, I wanted to um, share with you this super great person that I found on YouTube. Her name is Hannah BTV. I'll put a hey link guys. to her channel and her collaboration video down below. She also got married young. They're high school sweethearts. It's a really cute story. So I will link that down below. You should definitely go check her out. She's a wonderful new YouTuber and I just think the world of her. She's so funny. She's been doing these great videos with her husband, like questions and they'll put like a little pie in each other's face and it's really cute. Like a veil. <laughs> so anyway, let's get started. This is my husband, Joe. Joseph. Hello, it's good to be with you all today. Thanks for having me. Probably why you clicked on this video um, is yes, I married my first kiss. I didn't date all the way through middle school and high school. That wasn't my jam. But through those years and years, you know, people tell you to write a list of things that you're looking for. That list was really refined. I don't know, a lot of those things I really do feel like I'd put on my heart through my time in prayer. There were things like very specific, like I wanna marry a man from North Carolina. I visited there once and it's gorgeous. It would be awesome if he's from there. I wanna marry a man that plays basketball. I wanna marry a man who's a pastor's kid who wants to be a pastor. I wanna marry a man, um, you know, there was just all these really specific things and on our first not official date, we went and got coffee and we talked and within, I don't know, the first 30 minutes. And um, she knew I was the one. All those things, it was creepy um, of just how he checked off every single one of those little things on my list that I never really counted on. So we got married after our junior year of college. We had our senior year left. We wanted to be with each other. We wanted to have that married life experience. We had gotten a lot of experience living on the hall and on dorms with people and that that's fun, but we were ready to take that next step. We were 21, yeah, 21, and we had only, we dated for 11 months and then were engaged for six or seven. Um, so it's not like we were high school sweethearts. It's not like we always knew each other were the one, except for the fact that once we started dating, we knew each other were the one. It wasn't even a month in that um, I knew that I loved him. And let me think, we started dating December 13th. married June 11th, 2016. It was definitely like a fast turnover, but there was, it was just the, the most natural thing in the world. There is just, as people say, and as I always hated when I was a single girl, you, when you know, you just know. So why don't you talk about um, why we got married young? We got married young through wise counsel and, and decisions of making sure that this was the well, first of all, we were in, we're in love. And second of all, we looked at all the options and everything that was going into it. It worked cheaper for us to get married in college. I was gonna graduate college a semester early. Um, he still had a full year left of college. And it all worked out really well. Yeah, I think sometimes people talk about marriage like it needs, I'm hesitant to say that no matter what, you just always have to keep in mind you're marrying a sinner and you're choosing their sins over someone else's sins. And so as a child of divorce, I was really afraid of settling and how do you know for sure that this is the best person for you. I really encourage you, don't fear settling. No matter what, when you marry somebody, you're marrying their sins, their struggles, and you're settling on them. You're saying, I choose you above everybody else. It's just super helpful to know that no matter what, you're always settling. You're always saying, I choose you above everybody else. And I choose your problems, our problems together, whatever, above everybody else. Faith sure did settle for me. <laughs> Just like everything that's hard in life, everything that's worth doing is gonna be hard. When you choose to go to college, it's always gonna be hard things and you have to choose it and settle on it without a doubt. Like, I'm gonna get my college degree. I know it's gonna be hard. I know there's gonna be professors that hate me, but I'm going to do this. And so marriage is the same way. You're gonna to choose to be married to this person. And the whole point of marriage is that it's not supposed to be easy. You're two sinners bonding together as one. That's going to be hard. We've had a lot of friends that got married young or um, right out of college or in college. Then we've seen those marriages fail within a year or two years. Um, and so that's hard. The reason why we were able to have such confidence, though, at least me, um, moving forward with our marriage was that, I know it sounds dorky, but like just that confirmation alone, just all those little details and things that the Lord worked out to confirm among my heart that like, yes, this is the kind of guy that I've prayed for all my life. I'm not one to really encourage other girls to, um, to marry 
<laughs> their first boyfriend just because there's a beauty in having your heart broken and learning from those mistakes and learning how to not handle a relationship or how to handle a relationship. And he had some of that experience. I had none of that experience. And I think that caused us some um, problems at the beginning. I didn't know how to know if I should date him or not because all I knew from experience was constantly turning guys down. I think he had it had kind of hard at the beginning. Um, so going in wanting to to settle down, finding faith, saying you're the type of girl that I want to marry, I was ready and willing to be patient. I was not wanting to rush anything, certainly not trying to take advantage of any sort of situation. And it was a joy being Faith's first kiss and first everything. I don't know if we're going going that far. But it was a joy being Faith's first kiss and and first everything and going through those steps, going through that process, taking one thing at a time, holding hands, um, hugging. Kiss my cheek. Kissing the cheek. You know. It's exciting that. stuff like feeling those butterflies, knowing that she's feeling the butterflies. And then um, doing that first kiss, that little peck, and, you know, not going tongue first or anything. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun taking things slow. It has a lot to do with uh, with patience. Let's talk about just the aspects of people judging us and thinking that we we're kind of crazy. Cause again, we'd only been dating for less than a year, for 11 months. He was my first boyfriend, my first kiss, all of those things. Mm -hmm. But the people who knew us best, my mother, my sisters, my best friends, all encouraged us and supported us. I would say if you're one, you know, wanting to get married young and you don't have the support of those who are closest to you, if someone in your wedding party says that they can't support the marriage because they don't see it working out or what, something like that, I would say you definitely have reason for concern. That's a, um, that's a flag. Yeah, that's definitely a big flag. Or if people in the wedding party are even talking behind your back or something like that. You really want to make sure that the people who know you best and probably know you better than you know yourself um, all support you and think it's a wonderful idea for you guys to get married. I think there's this other aspect of culture among millennials, among more um, less Christians and more just like people of the world, you know, that you change over time. And, you know, um, I was recently watching a show, setting, Selling Sunset on Netflix. It's this trash TV show, but... <laughs> I was just having one of those nights where I just wanted to eat candy for dinner and watch a trash show. I was watching it and on the, one of the girls was like, I could never marry somebody that's a 25 year old. I'm completely different from the person I was when I was 25. And that was really scary for me to hear. I'm not even 25 yet. I'm still 24 and we got married at 21. And I thought about it and it, you know, I'm glad I heard it because it had me think. And we were just talking about this the other night, the beauty about getting married young and living in our first house together, never even like living with a bunch of friends, just like, starting like adulthood together is that we grow up together. The reason why she can't imagine herself marrying somebody at age 25 is because she didn't meet somebody that she could grow up with. But if she had grown up with somebody and learned how to pay the bills with somebody and learned how to adult, learn how to pay taxes, learn about life with somebody, then you can't actually imagine doing it any other way. This is no reason to get married young, but I think there's a beauty in getting married young because you know, you learn how to do life together and then it almost makes it impossible to do life separate. The first two years of your marriage is your honeymoon phase. And then once you get over that two year mark, some things kind of bubble up to the surface and you're like, hmm, I now realize I'm gonna be married to you forever and I'm always gonna deal with this and I'm starting to lose patience that I had for the first two years. And so I would always encourage people, if you can see yourself having marital problems within the first two years that could make or break it, get out. That's not a good relationship. Um, you know, you should marry somebody with a completely clear conscience. What's the word? Conscience. Conscience. Um, and not see any foreseeable problems in the near future. Um, because no matter what, the person that you are dating right now, today, is only going to get worse once you marry them. You're only going to see more of their brokenness and their sin because you'll be around them all day long. Um, and that, you know, there's beauty in that. That's hard and that's kind of scary, but also it's beautiful to choose to love somebody even though they're broken. Mama. Winchester. Our son is joining us today. He just woke up from his nap. So this is going to be interesting. So as you can imagine, um, yes, we got married as virgins and, um, Ooh. Some people also gave the comments of, oh, well, they're just getting married because they just want to have sex. And that was really hard for us, um, legitimizing our passion and our want for each other without it sounding like it was just for sex. Because obviously, I mean, sex is great, but it's no reason to like permanently tie yourself to another person unless you're for sure that they're the one. At our college, 
you can't drink alcohol unless you're actually married and okay. a student. And so um, people also thought, oh, they're just getting married to have sex and drink alcohol. <laughs> If we really want to do those two things, we're not going to get married. <laughs> like, we'll just do them. <laughs> People are always, who don't know you and who don't know your situation, they're going to always question um, motives mad, because they can't imagine being that certain. Hey, Wynn, can you say hi to the camera? <laughs> yeah, so we um, are, we have our 11 month old, he's almost one. And then we have baby number two on the way, and we're not even 24. We are, you know, skipping some stages, skipping our early 20s. But the beauty is that we get to live those early 20s together. We can still go out on date nights. We can still um, live our 20s, um, but we get to do that together and in the safety of this safe marriage and relationship. So many of our friends are living their 20s and going out to the clubs and um, on those dating apps. And I mean, it... Sometimes in movies they make it look fun, but no, never in real life are we ever like, I wish we were doing that. Is that, is that, does that sound too rude? Like I don't mean it rudely. No. So his friends will talk about how it's just like super hard to find Christian girls um, on dating apps oh. who aren't just there to sleep around. I have some friends in the area and they're talking about like how some girls just want to rush this marriage thing, want to rush the whole process just to be married, just to have the title of marriage. And they're willing to do it in the name of saying that it's godly, like they want it to be godly, but in reality, it's just a surface level sort of thing. They just want the posts on Instagram and the attention. You don't make huge life decisions. For the likes and the follows. For the posts, yes. <laughs> and then I also think there's, he has a, his best friend um, was in five weddings the summer that we got married, and out of those five marriages, two including ours, are still together. And so I just think it's so important to always keep in mind um, the commitment that yeah. marriage is and how painful it is when it doesn't work out. For, for kids, if they're involved, for families, you know, because they're, they're always involved. Even when engagements are broken up, it's painful. How much more after a wedding, after a ceremony? Um, can you imagine like divvying up like the wedding gifts? Like this isn't something you play around with. Yeah, it isn't just you and the other person um, that it affects, it affects more than just you two. Yeah, it affects friends, it affects everybody in the community, the wedding party, you know, it's just, it's hard. And marriage is a huge commitment. Just like a kid, you can't ever really take it back. You know, you're pregnant, your life has changed forever now, you know? Same with that, you're married, your life has changed forever now. And um, you best, when you make a promise before the Lord and to someone else and to your family, you best keep it, you know? All right, this video is super long, so we're gonna cut it off here. Feel free to leave questions and comments down below. We would love to answer your questions or just make further videos about this. So, um, if we get a lot of questions, we'll just make a second round of a video about this. Because mm -hmm. we know we have a really um, unique situation and um, kind of a weird story that is definitely different than the average <laughs> romance story in 2019, but, um, we hope that this has sparked interest in conversation. Leave a comment down below. We always wonder who watches our videos. So make sure you leave a comment. Tell us where you're coming from. If you're dating, if you're thinking about marriage, we'd love to hear from you and share any other wisdom if you have any questions. And then of course, make sure to go check out Hannah B TV um, and her video on this. She has a wonderful, super cute story. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Think about subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.